Right, one more. Um, actually, this is maybe something you might see more on the test. Um, a bit of a simple one. But look, um, all we've got as denominators is x. So uh, I know there's two there, but you only need to multiply by one of them. The lowest common denominator is x, because that's all you can see. So if I'm multiplying everything by x, I should get rid of those x's on the denominator. So here we go. x, I'm going to multiply that by the 29 over x. Okay. That equals, again, an x is going to be multiplied by the 5. Don't forget that as well. Minus an x is going to be multiplied by the 1 over x. Okay. So there we go. Uh, the original question now, all three parts have an x next to them. And this is why it nicely happens here. Gone. Cancelled. Left with 29. There you go. Nice on the left hand side. x times 5 is 5x. Okay. So that's that there. Minus. There you go. 1. And that's it. Look at that. How easy was that kind of thing? You multiply everything by x. Uh, the only thing now has got an x. It's the 5x, okay? Everything else is cancelled. So I'm going to add a 1 to both sides. So that's 30. So 5x equals 30. Divide both sides by 5. x equals 6. And that's it. Pretty straightforward, okay?